Rise and shine, it's time to change the channel. Welcome back to Hourglass. Get comfortable, enjoy a snack and dive headfirst into the whimsical world of Hollywood on our channel. Remember, life is too short, so let's make today great together. Katherine Heigl shot to stardom in Hollywood, captivating audiences with her incredible talent. She made her mark with the hit series Grey's Anatomy in 2005, quickly becoming a household name. Just two years later, she landed a significant role in Knocked Up, along with a substantial salary increase and the rare honor of winning an Emmy among the show's cast. However, Heil's journey took an unexpected turn when she decided to withdraw from Emmy consideration, expressing her disappointment with her character's storyline in the fourth season of Grey's Anatomy. This move caused quite a stir, leading to tension on set and eventually her departure from the series. It also strained her relationship with the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes, who enforced stricter rules to prevent similar incidents on her next project, Scandal. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Cameron Diaz, a renowned actress known for her roles in The Mask and Charlie's Angels, surprised many by retiring from acting. She chose a quieter life focused on family and well-being, stepping away from Hollywood's demands. In a 2020 interview, Diaz shared her journey to inner peace post-retirement, prioritizing family. She married musician Benji Madden in 2015 and welcomed their daughter five years later. Now, Diaz advocates for wellness, co-authoring books like The Body Book and The Longevity Book to promote healthy living. With no plans to return to acting, Diaz embraces her roles as a wife, mother, and health advocate. Meanwhile, Katherine Heigl faced challenges after leaving Grey's Anatomy, with films like New Year's Eve and The Big Wedding receiving mixed reviews and struggling at the box office. In a 2014 interview, Heil expressed disappointment, reflecting on unexpected career obstacles. Michael Richards, famously known as Kramer from the beloved sitcom Seinfeld, faced a rapid and devastating decline after the show ended. While his co-stars flourished post-Seinfeld, Richards encountered profound setbacks from which he struggled to bounce back. Returning to stand-up comedy after Seinfeld, Richards aimed to leverage the show's enduring popularity. However, his career took a disastrous turn when a video surfaced showing him using racial slurs against a black audience member during a performance. In a shocking three-minute clip, Richards made reprehensible remarks before abruptly leaving the stage. Despite issuing an apology and attempting to mend fences, including appearances on shows like The Late Show with David Letterman, Richards found it challenging to repair the damage. He reached out to prominent black figures such as Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson in hopes of reconciliation, but the stain on his reputation proved lasting. Although Richards made sporadic TV appearances and cameos afterward, his career never fully recovered from the fallout. The swift and severe consequences served as a stark reminder to both the industry and audiences alike. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Roseanne Barr's career was dramatically altered by a single tweet showcasing the immense influence of social media. Her seemingly harmless message, I thought the person was white, goddammit, led to the abrupt cancellation of her sitcom, Roseanne by a BC. This tweet, directed at Valerie Jarrett, a senior African-American advisor to Barack Obama, was swiftly condemned by a BC's entertainment president, Channing Dungy, as offensive and contrary to the network's values. Despite Barr's subsequent apology, the damage was irreversible. The cancellation was particularly significant considering the show's substantial financial success. Barr initially blamed the sedative ambient for her tweet, but later shifted blame to a critical post by her co-star Sarah Gilbert. Gilbert expressed disappointment, emphasizing that Barr's actions did not reflect the beliefs of the show's cast and crew. Barr expressed regret over the lack of accountability and the tweet's impact on her personal life. This incident serves as a powerful reminder of the immediate and severe repercussions of inappropriate social media conduct, 
underscoring the importance of responsibility in the public eye. Bill Cosby, once celebrated as America's beloved father figure, experienced a dramatic downfall in 2018. Convicted on three counts of aggravated assault, Cosby faced accusations from over 60 women, revealing his use of sedatives in pursuing physical relationships. These revelations caused the collapse of Cosby's television and movie career. The Cosby Show reruns were halted by TV land, colleges rescinded honorary degrees, and his statue at MGM Hollywood Studios was taken down, many stand-up shows were canceled, too. Although Cosby was sentenced to three to ten years in prison, his conviction was later overturned, leading to his release after serving two years. Despite this legal development, public perception remains negative, and industry experts doubt Cosby's chances of making a comeback. Cosby's damaged reputation discourages studios, actors, and filmmakers from associating with him. Collaborating with Cosby could jeopardize one's personal and professional reputation, making it an unappealing prospect for industry professionals. Please comment number one to let me know that you will be with us until the end of this video. Paula Dean, once a beloved TV personality with roles in popular shows like Top Chef, Chef Chef, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, in the 2012 movie Elizabethtown, suffered a significant setback to her career in 2012 due to allegations of racist behavior. The trouble started when Lisa Jackson, a former general manager of Paula's Restaurant in Savannah, Georgia, Uncle Bubba's Seafood and Oyster House, filed a lawsuit against her. Jackson accused Paula of using racial slurs, including the N-word, in front of her employees and suggesting a Southern-themed wedding with black men portraying slaves. Paula admitted to using the N-word in the past, attributing it to cultural shifts and defended the slave wedding concept as inspired by another restaurant. Despite issuing multiple video apologies, the Food Network chose not to renew Paula's contract. Efforts to salvage her reputation, such as appearing on Dancing with the Stars, failed to repair the damage. In 2015, Paula faced additional backlash for posting and later deleting a photo of her son in brownface. These incidents severely tarnished Paula's once-respected career, resulting in widespread public and industry condemnation. Todd Joseph Miller catapulted to fame with his roles in the first two Deadpool films. Despite the immense financial success that boosted his net worth to approximately $2 million, Miller found himself embroiled in controversies that ultimately led to his exclusion from Deadpool 3. The rift between him and co-star Ryan Reynolds played a pivotal role in this decision, with Miller openly discussing feeling marginalized and undervalued on set. Despite efforts from Reynolds to reconcile, Miller's involvement in Deadpool 3 couldn't be salvaged marking a significant setback in his career trajectory. Moreover, legal troubles, including a fake bomb threat and allegations of assault and misconduct, cast a dark shadow over his professional endeavors. As a result, Miller's once illustrious career trajectory is now clouded with uncertainty, his reputation grappling with the repercussions of these troubling incidents. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two, I will change it if I know you hate it. Daniel Day-Lewis, born on April 29, 1957, in London, England, became one of the most esteemed actors of his era. His retirement in 2017 concluded a remarkable career, highlighted by three Academy Awards for Best Actor. Day-Lewis expressed a desire for a quieter life away from fame spotlight. With parents rooted in the arts, poet Cecil Day-Lewis and actress Jill Balkin, Day-Lewis grew up surrounded by creativity. His portrayal of Christy Brown in My Left Foot in 1989 earned him his first Academy Award. Day Lewis's commitment to authenticity, such as mastering painting with his left foot for the role, was evident in There Will Be Blood. He showcased versatility in subsequent roles, winning Golden Globes for Lincoln, 
and there will be blood. Despite considering retirement to Italy, Day Lewis returned triumphantly in Gangs of New York. Knighted in 2014 for his artistic contributions, his pursuit of a serene life suggests a return to acting is unlikely, but his cinematic legacy will endure for generations. Felicity Huffman, known for her role in Desperate Housewives, became embroiled in the college admission scandal, causing Netflix to postpone the release of Otherhood, a romantic comedy she starred in alongside Patricia Arquette and Angela Bassett. The delay was a direct response to Huffman's involvement in one of the largest scandals in American history. Facing public scrutiny, Huffman publicly apologized and pleaded guilty to fraud charges. Despite the setback, Otherhood was eventually released later that year. Huffman's admission of paying bribes for her child's college admission brought deep remorse and shame. She took full responsibility, resulting in an 11-day prison sentence, a $30,000 fine, supervised release for a year, and 250 hours of community service. However, the repercussions of her actions extended beyond legal consequences. Huffman's reputation in Hollywood suffered a significant blow, leading to a loss of trust and credibility. Charlie Sheen, once earning a staggering $1.8 million per episode for his role on Two and a Half Men, was among television's highest paid actors. However, his career took a sharp downturn due to a prolonged battle with addiction dating back to the 1990s. Amidst a string of highly publicized incidents, including cocaine overdoses and assault charges, Sheen's life descended into chaos. His struggles with substance abuse and controversies severely tarnished his reputation, resulting in significant setbacks. In 2009, Sheen's arrest marked a turning point, and by 2010, production of Two and a Half Men halted as Sheen entered rehabilitation. Despite sincere efforts at recovery, his erratic behavior and tumultuous personal life led to his dismissal from the show in March 2011. Derogatory remarks aimed at the show's creator, Chuck Lore further damaged his image, sealing his fate on the series. Recent reports suggest a positive shift in Sheen's circumstances, with claims of over a year of sobriety and involvement in two television projects. Despite past struggles, his commitment to sobriety signifies a significant step forward in both his personal and professional life. Jared Leto, once the heartthrob of Hollywood, took a detour down rock and roll road and never looked back. Co-founding the band 30 Seconds to Mars with his brother Shannon was like hitting the jackpot, with their music soaring to fame faster than you can say rock on. Sure, Jared's Oscar win for Dallas Buyers Club proved he's got acting chops for days. But these days, he's strumming more than just heartstrings. Their album, America, didn't just climb the charts it practically built a penthouse on top of them. But wait, there's more. Jared isn't just hitting high notes on stage, he's also hitting high notes in the business world. From tech investments in Slack to Airbnb, he's proving he's not just a rock star, he's a business maverick too. So whether he's shredding on the guitar or making savvy investments, one thing's for sure. Jared Leto is living proof that you can rock and roll in more ways than one, Kat Dennings, the quick-witted queen of two broke girls, had audiences laughing their socks off with her sassy one-liners. But while Max Black was serving up jokes, Dennings was serving up success, cashing in on syndication deals that kept her pockets jingling long after the show wrapped. But hey, even Hollywood royalty needs a breather, right? Dennings took a step back from the limelight, maybe due to her Marvel character's shrinking screen time or the not-so-marvelous breakup with Josh Groban in 2016 talk about a plot twist. But fear not, Dennings fans, she's making a comeback with Dollface, a Hulu pilot that promises to be as empowering as it is hilarious. It's like watching a phoenix rise from the ashes of a breakup, ready to reclaim her throne as the queen of TV comedy. 
Get ready for some serious laughs, folks. In the glitzy galaxy of Hollywood, few stars shine as brightly as Bridget Fonda. With Tinseltown jeans running in her veins as the daughter of Peter Fonda and niece of Jane Fonda, she was destined for stardom. From single white female to point of no return, Bridget lit up the screen with her talent, leaving audiences spellbound. But just when everyone expected her to keep stealing the show, she pulled a disappearing act that would make Houdini proud. In a move that shocked Hollywood, Bridget waved goodbye to the silver screen in the early 2000s, trading the red carpet for a quieter life. And as if that wasn't surprising enough, she also said I do to the one and only Danny Elfman, adding a musical twist to her story. As for the rumors about a car accident, well, let's just say Bridget's exit from Hollywood was more exit stage left than exit through the windshield. But hey, every star deserves a chance to write their own script, right? Once the toast of Hollywood, Kevin Spacey mysteriously vanished faster than a magician's assistant during a disappearing act. His sudden disappearance from Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World was more dramatic than a last-minute rewrite, with Christopher Plummer swooping in like a cinematic superhero to save the day. Not stopping there, Netflix pulled a power move worthy of Frank Underwood himself by axing Spacey from House of Cards, leaving fans wondering if they'd entered the upside down. But it wasn't all lights, camera, legal action. Spacey found himself in a real-life courtroom drama, facing allegations that made scandalous plot twists look tame. Despite the courtroom carousel, Spacey managed to evade the final curtain call of criminal charges, proving that sometimes life imitates art in the most absurd ways possible. And just when you thought the saga had reached its climax, a British jury stepped in like the ultimate plot twist, clearing Spacey of all charges faster than you can say, cut, that's a wrap. It seems even the most scandalous tales can have an unexpected ending. Shelley Duvall was the enchantress of the silver screen, captivating audiences with her spellbinding performances. Who could forget her haunting gaze as Wendy Torrance in The Shining? It's like she could stare down ghosts and win. Throughout the groovy 70s sad neon 80s, Duval was everywhere, shining like a disco ball dipped in talent. From playing olive oil and Pape to rocking our world in Time Bandits, she was the epitome of on-screen magic. But then, like a disappearing act worthy of Houdini, Duval vanished from Hollywood as the 90s came knocking. Not because she lost her mojo, mind you, but because she bravely waved goodbye to Tinseltown's craziness. She basically said, I'd rather chill in my own mental oasis than swim with sharks in the fame ocean. Today, you won't find Duval chasing fame and fortune on Sunset Boulevard. Nope, she's kicking back in rural Texas, probably sipping sweet tea and enjoying the simpler things in life. Who needs paparazzi when you've got peace and quiet, right? Amanda Bynes was the reigning queen of child stars, dazzling us with her infectious energy on The Amanda Show and stealing hearts in What a Girl Wants. But just when we thought we had her script figured out, she pulled a plot twist bigger than a Hollywood blockbuster. In a move that shocked fans harder than a plot twist in Game of Thrones, Bynes dropped the mick on her acting career in 2010. Yup, she traded red carpets for textbooks, swapping Hollywood drama for the classroom drama of the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Who knew she had a flair for fashion to rival Anna Wintour? But life isn't always a fairy tale ending. Bynes faced more hurdles than Mario navigating through a level of Super Mario Bros. Legal troubles and mental health battles tried to steal her spotlight, but she fought back with the determination of a superhero saving the day. Fast forward to 2022, and she's free from the shackles of conservatorship, proving she's the hero of her own story. However, recent events have shown she's still battling some demons. But hey, even superheroes need a reboot sometime.
Jessica Lange, the queen of captivating performances, ruling both the silver screen and the Broadway stage like a boss. From stealing scenes in Tootsie to slaying in Blue Sky and snagging two shiny Oscars along the way, she's like the Meryl Streep of versatility. But wait, there's more. Lange isn't just a silver screen siren, she's a Broadway babe, clinching three Tony Awards faster than you can say break a leg. It's like she's got more talent in her little finger than most of us have in our whole bodies. In a plot twist worthy of an HBO drama, Lange decided to shake things up, ditching the Hollywood rat race for roles that set her artistic soul on fire. Cue American Horror Story, where she scared the socks off us and snagged not one. Who knew she had such a knack for creeping us out? But here's the kicker. Lange isn't just a master of the stage and screen, she's also a shutterbug extraordinaire capturing moments like a pro. She's basically the Leonardo da Vinci of the entertainment world. Meg Ryan, the rom-com royalty, ruling the silver screen alongside Tom Hanks in flicks like Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail. They were the OG power couple of the 90s, making hearts flutter and setting unrealistic relationship standards for us mere mortals. But hold up, Ryan wasn't just about the rom-com life. She showed off her acting chops in serious roles too, like a boss in Courage Under Fire and When a Man Loves a Woman. Talk about versatility. She could make you laugh, cry, and swoon all in one movie marathon. And then, just when you thought she couldn't surprise you anymore, Ryan decided to switch gears and hop behind the camera. Directing, yep, she tried her hand at it with Ithaca, who knew she had skills beyond just looking adorable in a coffee shop. Nowadays, you might not see her on screen as much, but her legacy lives on. Meg Ryan will forever be the queen of romantic comedies, the ruler of our heartstrings, and the reason why we still believe in love stories that end with a kiss in the rain. Michael Scoofling was the heartthrob who made every girl swoon as Jake Ryan in Sixteen Candles. With his dreamy looks and irresistible charm, he was like a walking, talking daydream. But then, like a plot twist straight out of a Hollywood script, Scoofling vanished faster than a magician's rabbit. After a few movie gigs, including Mermaids and Wild Hearts, can't be broken, he disappeared from the limelight quicker than you can say lights, camera, action. So, what's the deal with Scoofling? Well, he pulled a disappearing act worthy of Houdini himself. He ditched Tinseltown and headed to Pennsylvania with his family to carve out a new path, and get this, he started making furniture. Yep, he traded red carpets for sawdust and fame for furniture stains. While we may miss his brooding looks on screen, Scoofling's story teaches us a valuable lesson. Happiness comes in all shapes and sizes. Hollywood's glitz and glam couldn't hold a candle to the fulfillment he found in crafting wood. Who knew Jake Ryan was such a handyman? Linda Fiorentino was the siren of the silver screen, slaying roles like a boss in Men in Black and heating things up in The Last Seduction. She was the queen of complexity, making us believe she could kick alien butt and break hearts with just a glance. But then, like a stealthy agent in the night, Fiorentino disappeared faster than a UFO sighting. After Men in Black, she vanished from Hollywood faster than you can say intergalactic conspiracy. Today, she's living the low-key life, far away from the paparazzi flashbulbs and red carpet madness. It's like she said, adios, Hollywood drama. Hello, peace and quiet? Sure, we miss her on screen antics, but hey, who needs CGI aliens when you've got the real life mystery of Linda Fiorentino's disappearance? It's like she pulled off the ultimate disappearing act. Even though she's gone from the Hollywood scene, Fiorentino's legacy lives on. Her performances still pack a punch, and her impact on cinema is as undeniable as a flashy memory erasing device. Here's to you, 
Linda May, your quiet existence be as epic as your on-screen adventures. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.